So there you are. You've prepared and practiced extensively for your live stream presentation. But now that you're actually doing it, you have no idea what your audience is thinking. Well, that's because tracking audience engagement is more involved than asking them to thumbs up React on Zoom. You need a tool that lets you collect customer data and measure audience sentiment. And that's exactly what we're bringing you in today's product showcase. What's going on everyone? It's Jay here. And today we're talking about Swift Polling, the real-time engagement platform that lets you set up live polls and Q and A's so you can engage, excite, and better understand your audience. Let's dive right on in. Create a poll by clicking on the Create Poll button on the left-hand menu or by clicking on the Create Your First Poll button in the middle of the screen. Then choose the type of poll you want to run, multiple choice, open-ended, or word cloud. For multiple choice polling, you can add as many answer options as you'd like, and if you get carried away, you can easily delete them by clicking the trash can button. Open-ended polling is great for Q&As, which lets you ask a question and your audience will generate their own responses and get them talking by asking for long feedback on any subject under the sun. When it comes to website polls, Swift Polling gives you tons of template options, and if that's not enough customization, you can upload a custom background. Then, just preview how it looks. Swift Polling even lets you link the poll, so you can send participants to something else after they've voted. You can send them to another poll or even to an external link, like your website. And using the smart linking feature, you can even set up different external links based on a participant's answer. So, depending on whether someone votes yes or no, they can be shipped off to a specific website. Once you're done setting everything up, click the on button to push your poll live. The link to the live poll appears at the bottom of the screen. That link takes you to the landing page where participants can vote. You can map this link to an existing page on your website. There are also a few options to embed this poll on your website. Using the static embed, you will only embed this specific poll. With dynamic embed, you will embed any active poll from your account. So as you launch your new polls, the widget on your website will automatically display the new poll. See the participant responses as they flood in. If you want to share responses, you can approve or archive them. You can even use the profanity filter and the anonymity filter to scan your responses for you. Stop trying to guess what your audience is thinking. Instead, measure real-time audience engagement and interaction with Swift polling. Multiple choice, open-ended, Word cloud, you name it. Well, you don't name it, but. So you can send participants to something else. To something else. And using the smart linking feature, you can even set up different. Today's not my day. 